Hi, I'm Jesse with Lalilo, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Lalilo to do uh, distance learning read alouds with your class. Um, in case you don't have access to your books right now um, and you're just wanting to do some fun read alouds with your students. So, the first thing that you'll need to do before you jump into Lalilo is make sure that you have a video conferencing software or app that you like and that you're familiar with and that you know how to schedule meetings with your students. So um, if you are not familiar yet, you can use Zoom, you can use Google Meet, that's what I'm gonna be using today. Um, and then get familiar with those. Um, both Zoom and Google have uh, lots of video tutorials and stuff to help you get started. Um, or your district or school might have um, a video conferencing platform that you are recommended or required to use, so you can definitely use those too. Um, any video conferencing software will work. Uh, once you have that account all set up, then just make sure to schedule um, a meeting with your students so that you can do your read aloud. And once that's all ready, um, then you can go ahead and start planning your read aloud, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Lollilo. So first what you need to do is just go ahead and go to your uh, Lollilo account and click on your class. And then make sure that you have either the Lollilo demo account still in your class or that you have created your own teacher student account. So that's what I did. So I added myself as a student in my class. And I also went through the placement test. So that's really important too because otherwise that will be the first thing that happens in your account as the teacher student account. So um, once you get through the placement test in your student account, then you'll be able to start assigning lessons to yourself so that you can preview them and so that you can work through them uh, with your whole class. So I've already done the placement test and um, so now I'm ready to assign myself some lessons. And so I'm gonna just go to my assignments button and I'm gonna click add assignment. I'm gonna choose myself, my student account that I created. Um, again, you can use the Lilo demo account as well. Just make sure you finish the placement test in that account and then go ahead and click next. So I wanna do a read aloud. And of course you can use this strategy to do any of our lessons whole group with your class. But I'm gonna choose a reading comprehension book because I really wanna do a fun read aloud with my class. So these are all leveled by grade or by reading level, F and P level. Um, so just choose whichever one, whichever range you normally would do read alouds in. And um, just click the little plus sign and then choose a book that you like. So the IR stands for independent reading. These books won't be read aloud by Loli Lo. And the LC stands for listening comprehension. These books are read aloud to the student. You can choose either one um, because you'll end up muting the lolly low sound anyway so that you can read the book to your class and discuss it with your students. So I'm gonna go ahead and click choose this book. It's there in my list. I'm gonna click assign. And now here it is in my assignments uh, page and I can double check that it's assigned to me and I haven't started it yet. So now what I can do is go over to my student view, click play, choose my class, and choose myself. And again, I have Lolilo muted right now so that the noises aren't distracting. You can also go here to get out of the full screen mode so that you can um, switch between your different tabs. So then from here, you just press, press play. And now I have my book. And so first what I'll do is I'll go through this myself as a teacher and take my notes on what questions I wanna ask my students and how I want to um, have them discuss the book together. Um, each book usually has a list of vocabulary words, so I might write down what I'm gonna say for each vocabulary word, maybe I'm going to give an example, and then um, I can get started planning my read aloud. So once you've worked through this yourself as a teacher and you've completed the lesson for yourself as a teacher, then when you're ready to present it to your class, go back and reassign it to yourself. And then all you'll need to do when you're actually ready to work with your students is again, you'll get out of full screen mode so you can see your other tabs. You'll go to your meeting software and you'll click present or share. So we're gonna share the entire screen. We're gonna click, choose what you're gonna share, click share. And now my students, anyone who's in this meeting with me will be able to see my screen. So I can go back to my student page, click on my class, click on my name, 
and my students should be able to see my screen. And then I can click into the book and I can go ahead and do my lesson with my students.